Amaranth tells all in her last stream and shares that it actually might be her last stream, at least for a while. Modern Warfare 2's early access for the campaign drops this week and it has a battle pass attached to it. Maybe the developing team over at 343 can look into that and maybe how it's done. All that and more in today's deep dive into the gaming and esports space. Amaranth's return to streaming was cryptic. It started off with a black screen paired with the text, cops are here, BRB. Later, coming back to the stream, revealing that she was safe and she was sound, and that she had access not only to her stream, but her social media and to her bank account. She shared with us that she still can't believe that how many people gave a shit, that she felt like she was public enemy number one for the type of content that she was putting out there. She felt like everybody was against her and this wasn't even the type of content she wanted to stream. And honestly, that in of itself could be debunked for a lot of different things. I just felt so alone for so fucking long. It makes me wish I had done it sooner. <laughs> I just finally snapped. I've seen a lot of people being like, oh, she should have kept it private. And I'm like, I did. It wasn't getting better. I did keep it private for a long time. Police really don't do anything unless you're physically harmed. Unfortunately, yelling at your partner isn't grounds for action from the police. I just don't feel like I have to turn down invites to shit camp and stuff now or like the girls trip because it's not good. It's not good use of time. Could be home getting more conversions and money. I can actually feel like I can have friends again. I don't even know what to do now. <laughs> I got used to the grind for so long. I was like on the autopilot for 12 to 15 hours a day. I get to sleep for eight hours tonight for once. I have been on a three to five hour schedule for so long. I'm sleeping, I mean. I still can't believe just how many people gave a shit. Because for most of the years online, it felt like everyone was against me for like the type of content that I didn't even want to stream. I just hope that people still watch <laughs> without so much titty showing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy what that kind of trauma does to you. You start to think you're the crazy one who deserves it. I think if I didn't have animals and it was just that, I don't know if I would have snapped and stood up for myself. I think the mama instincts kicked in and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that at least. What I fear for Am right now is her mental and emotional state. She's amassed this amount of fame, money, and status while being bound to this abusive relationship. And maybe it didn't start out that way, but that's unfortunately what it came to. And what I'm fearful of is that she feels somewhere deep down inside of her that this fame, money, status was because of maybe that relationship or that individual and that she wouldn't have been able to reach that without him in her life. I hope that she truly believes that the type of content that she put out there, it's, it's her, it was her body, it's her product, it's her as an individual. So no, this is her fame and her status, the money, because of her and the team that she had. And I hope that she can, she can genuinely believe that and that she was able to amass this amount of fame, money, and status in spite of this individual, not because of this individual. But I'm actually really interested in what type of content she wants to put out. If you actually sit down and listen to her, Amp's pretty smart and is a pretty business savvy lady. And I don't think 100%, if really any of the percent, goes to Amaran's husband and her investment portfolio. Maybe he weighed in on it. But I would like to think that she had a majority say of what was going on in that, that side of things. But until then, Am is taking a much needed and deserved break from streaming. And there were a lot of shareable moments in this past stream of hers. But honestly, this moment with her, her and her dogs is just so heartwarming. We'll end it out with this. The dogs are okay. I just want to get back to what I like doing, like what I like doing. Like I'm positive about the future, like I'm, I'm happy about it, that I'm free, it's just, 
It's still a lot. I'm just glad the dogs are okay. It's about time to pre-download the early access to Modern Warfare 2 campaign. It'll come out on October 20th and it'll be the official start of the next two years for the Call of Duty grind. Modern Warfare 2 is already starting off strong not only with it having early access to the campaign, but having a battle pass attached to it. So not only will you be able to gain access to the campaign a week early, a week before anybody else, so now you pre-ordered Modern Warfare 2, you're going to be able to earn in-game cosmetics and get some drip that most people are going to not have access to and most people are going to be jealous of. Except for the PlayStation boys who get this Samurai bundle, which is just the nastiest stuff ever. Why can't Xbox and Battle.net have their own variation of this blooper? Because it's nasty. Xbox could be green and black and Battle.net's could be like silver and blue. I don't know, just some idea. Guys, get it together. One thing to remember is this is not a retelling of Modern Warfare 2 from back in the day, the one that's already been out and remastered. This is a direct sequel to Modern Warfare 2019. So you can call it a Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 or Modern Warfare 2019 Continued. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or if it's a bad thing, but I'm sure you guys will let me know down below. Navi is never letting this man go. Simple, the man, the myth, the legend, arguably the best FPS athlete that's ever walked the face of the interwebs, has re-signed to Navi for three more years. And honestly, one of my favorite announcement videos that I've seen at least this year. I appreciate you guys for kicking back and enjoying this deep dive into the gaming and esports scene with me. Whether you're a casual or whether you're the next sweat, try to be the next gumpy, I got gaming news for you. So if you would, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe, turn the noti bells on because like 97% of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed and that statistic is blowing because it's only 3% away from 100% of the people not being subscribed. So make sure you're not one of those bozos. That's going to be it for this video. Try to make somebody laugh today. Tell somebody you love them and I'll see you guys on the next one.